Do you want to write like a pro without having to spend hours editing AI copy? Watch this tutorial and you'll see why WriteSonic is the number one ChatGPT alternative preferred by marketers, sales teams, and content creators around the globe. Hey everyone, welcome back to AI Marketing and Creator Tools. If you're new to WriteSonic, you may have heard some people say it's like ChatGPT but better, and that it supposedly can do things that ChatGPT can't, like using specific articles that are ranking on Google to help write original full-length blogs, or even doing professional grade AI voiceovers in minutes. Let's start the tutorial with WriteSonic's template feature, which immediately sets it apart from ChatGPT in a huge way. With WriteSonic templates, you don't need to come up with elaborate prompts to generate targeted copy and posts. I've found that LinkedIn posts are pretty hard to write for some reason, so we'll start the tutorial with a LinkedIn template. Say I want to write a series of five inspiring LinkedIn posts about how I grew my small business from scratch with no money by marketing on social media sites like Instagram and TikTok. I'd go to the the LinkedIn post v2 template, type my guidelines into the instructions, and choose the tone I want to convey. It generated some engaging ideas in less than 20 seconds. After that, I could add them to the editor and either manually rewrite or ask it for a regeneration that shortens or expands the text, changes the tone, translates it, and more. ChatGPT is trained on a wide range of data, so unless you spend a good amount of time crafting and revising your prompt, your outputs will likely be pretty broad. With hundreds of templates available for ads, writing, social media, and everything in between, we noticed that WriteSonic seemed like an organized alternative to ChatGPT. This isn't surprising because it uses GPT-4 in its underlying technology, but you already knew that because you watched our WriteSonic video, right? If you didn't, you can make it up to us by subscribing and hitting the bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. An area where WriteSonic really stands out is with Article Writer 5.0. Some reviews say it's the best AI article writer out there. Let's find out. I came up with this prompt about SEO trends and marketing and copy-pasted two reference articles from SEMrush and Backlinko that I really wanted to emulate. It came up with this five-section article that even included images. Stay tuned because I'll talk more about creating your own AI images in a bit. So not only was this article 95% complete, but it also used the up-to-date information in the articles that I gave it. On the other hand, ChatGPT cannot reference or use specific articles, so WriteSonic wins in this category too. Just like the other templates, you can import articles to the editor and fine tune the details to finish writing. And remember to always edit your generations. AI is not perfect, and after all, you're the one who's an expert in your field. The Article 5.0 tool has saved our team hours on our articles and blog posts, which you can check out at AIMarketingAndCreatorTools.com. Trust me, it's game-changing for marketers who want to capture traffic from similar companies. And if you're excited to learn about the other features, give this video a thumbs up. This next tool, AudioSonic, is pretty trippy and a little uncanny valley-ish to be honest, but a lot of tools are incorporating AI voice generations into their platforms these days, which you can learn about in this video. AudioSonic claims to perfectly mimic human speech, so let's try it out. I'm inserting the intro of the video you're watching right now to see if it can sound as incredible and amazing as me. Hey everyone, welcome to AI Marketing and AMP Creator Tools. Comment your thoughts on that audio below. She seems a little annoyed to be narrating, but I'll give her a pass. She's probably been trapped inside the right Sonic website for weeks without food or water. On ChatGPT Plus, you can install a similar plugin to AudioSonic called Speech Key. We covered it in our video on our favorite plugins link below. But in our experience, right Sonic's voiceovers sound better and it's easier to manage everything under one platform. And you don't need to go through ChatGPT. By the way, if you want to sign up for right Sonic and get all the features I'm covering, use our affiliate link in the description. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss our upcoming tutorial and all the latest news about AI. Another useful Write Sonic tool is ChatSonic, which is just a regular chatbot similar to ChatGPT. You can download it as a Chrome extension, which is great because it integrates with social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, X, <laughs> Twitter, and LinkedIn. Ever since ChatGPT added image generation and updated its info from Google, we can't really say that ChatSonic is much different from its competitor, but it is able to analyze links and files for free, which is a feature you have to pay for in ChatGPT. I asked ChatSonic to explain the marketing plan generator page on HubSpot's website and then turn the summary into a pitch for my team about why we should incorporate the tool into our business plan. It didn't seem to fully understand what I was asking for, so in this case, I think ChatGPT generally does a better job at comprehension, but we do appreciate having a built-in tool to change the output style. Alright, on to the last feature. Photosonic is a 
a text-to-image generator that you can use alongside WriteSonic's writing tools, and it has a simple user interface. ChatGPT recently rolled out a text-to-image feature for their Plus users, and Photosonic pretty much does the same thing, just for free. I used it to create a thumbnail for our video about email marketing with Jasper AI. I asked it to create a purple and yellow background with a woman writing an email on a computer who contrasts with the background colors, and to put the Jasper AI logo at the top right. To get the best output with these, you really want to give as much detail as possible. As you can see, these are definitely um, thumbnails. Just be sure not to look into her eyes. So clearly, Photosonic missed the mark completely. The best way to use Photosonic is to ask for certain elements like backgrounds or specific styles with relatively broad outputs, but you'll want to avoid asking it to generate images of people. Comment below what you think about the thumbnail it made. Do you think it's better than the original one? Uh, I hope not. ChatGPT Plus users just got access to OpenAI's latest AI art generator, Dolly 3, and we actually used it to come up with the background for our holiday marketing video. Dolly is way better at creating realistic images, so if high quality AI art is something you're really looking for, you'll probably want to sign up for ChatGPT instead of using Photosonic. But I do think this tool is great if you want to spend less time manually finding assets like stock photos and graphics and want something that's personalized right off the bat. It's a relatively new feature in WriteSonic, so it'll improve with time. We can only hope. So, final thoughts. Is WriteSonic really better than ChatGPT? Well, first of all, it's technically free, but you will need to pay a minimum of $13 a month if you use it frequently and need a bigger word limit. In comparison, ChatGPT Plus is $20 a month, so the platform you should choose really depends on which features you need the most. And Jasper AI, which in our opinion has the highest overall quality, starts at $49 a month. So WriteSonic is cheap compared to its competitors, but we feel like it has the best value of any professional tool. I personally love having the specialized targeted templates that WriteSonic offers, and I get overwhelmed by the thousands of ChatGPT Plus plugins. I also love that you can get everything for free if you don't use WriteSonic super often. So overall, our team generally prefers WriteSonic because we're marketers and content creators, and the templates ended up saving us a ton of time. But if you do like ChatGPT better, we'll show you how to use their top plugins in our next video. You're not gonna wanna miss that one, so subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.